Hey, Lindsay. Hi, Matthew. Uh, what, what do you got going on today? I have a really busy day, but you really want me to do a filthy farm job, don't you? Yeah, what do you know about sweet potatoes? Nothing. <laughs> All right, let's well, go. Hi, Lindsay. Hi. I'm Sean Peebles. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What are we doing here today? Well, we're going to dig sweet potatoes today. Okay. How do we dig sweet potatoes? Well, we're going to get on one of those machines, and that machine's going to pull those potatoes up out of the ground, and you're going to be up there with the guys sorting the potatoes as you go through the field. Awesome. And how are the sweet potatoes sorted? Well, by size. The largest one's first, the smallest one's towards the end. Everybody on the digger has a position, and we're going to find you a position today. Sweet. Let's get this day started. Let's go. I'm gonna be getting big. Where do I put them? Right behind you. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so what happens with all the big ones that I miss? The, somebody's behind you is gonna catch you. Okay. So they're sorted here. What happens when they get to a processing facility? Some of them are in the wrong tub. That's why they're sorted a second time. Okay. Yeah, they're all so sorted twice. So once they're sorted and they're in these bins, where do they go? They go to the warehouse in Augusta. They're put into storage, normally cured for six weeks. Okay. And then shipped all over the all over the world. We ship these to Japan. What does cure mean? Cure means that you're changing the carbohydrates in that sweet potato to sugars. The sugar content goes up. Okay. As you stay in the storage. Okay. So if you're trying to make a sweeter potato, you want a cured potato. Okay. So how do you actually like plant a sweet potato? Well, when you're planting a sweet potato, you're actually planting a cutting. And let me try to find one right here. You're planting that. Okay. That that makes a sweet potato. That makes a sweet potato, and then they turn into this. Opposite of a regular potato where you're planting the eye. Okay, I was going to ask how yeah. they differed from a regular potato. So how are these measured? Are they measured in pounds, bushels? Pounds. It's pounds? all in pounds. Okay. Right now we're doing about 25,000 pounds per acre. 25,000 pounds per acre. Okay, wow. I feel like I'm not doing a very good job. <laughs> What did, you th what did you think of uh, when you saw Lindsay walk up in the field today? Well, I didn't think much about her. <laughs> I wasn't sure she'd ever been dirty. <laughs> I think she did great. She, she was grabbing potatoes as fast as everybody else. And you got 12 sitting on it. You got one tractor driver and two walking behind. Okay. We're what, a little short-handed. We're actually missing a guy today, but normally 15 people per unit. So what do the people at the back walking behind, what's their purpose? Anything that's missed that comes okay. across this chain, they're going to pick up and put back on it. Okay. Cool. And these 15 guys are going to do five acres per day. It didn't look hard. It looked like a lot of dirt. <laughs> uh, I was just thinking, I'm about to get really dirty. I'm about to breathe in a lot of air, a lot of dust. Um, Honestly, I didn't know how dirty I was going to get because I wasn't really sure of the harvest process of sweet potatoes. So, Right now, the quality of the crop is very good. You're not seeing any rot. Right. Uh, if you're going to herd a sweet potato crop, it's at harvest when you're getting too much rain. Okay. So, obviously, it's harvest season. What time of the year do you plant sweet potatoes? We started planting this crop around the 20th of May. Okay. Uh, we would have started a little earlier, but it was too wet. Too wet this year. Yeah. Okay. So how do they cure, cure sweet potatoes, whatever it's called, in order to sell them all year round? Well, you can hold a sweet potato for 18 months. Oh wow. Okay. And the ideal storage temperature is only 60 degrees, so it's not cold. Okay. Um, the curing process, we try to keep the potatoes about 85 degrees okay. for the first six weeks. Once they're cured, they're pretty much stabilized and we'll drop the temperature to about 62 degrees okay. and leave them there till we sell them. But we, we are still selling last year's crop. Oh, wow. Because this is not a cured crop, so I can't sell it. Right. So I'm trying to hold last year's crop till the 1st of November and these will be cured and ready to go to market. Okay. That's awesome. 
So what do you do with your fields, with your guys, your equipment, and your off time? Well, everybody here it leaves and goes back home on uh, November 5th this year. Okay. Uh, so I only have about 10 guys that stay throughout the winter, and we're working on equipment and shipping these potatoes out. Okay. Most so they get a break at the holidays. They, they get a break because they've all been here since the 15th day of March. So they'd all like to go home and be with their families. Be with their families. Okay, yeah. cool. Too bad. I got dirt under my nails, so that's a good thing. That's how you know you really did the dirty work. Yeah. <laughs> We'd hire her in a minute. Hey. <laughs> I attempted. <laughs> Said my 5'2 self doesn't do very good with these trenches. <laughs> So this is a box of number ones. And the reason I say it's number ones, this is what you'd find in a grocery store. Yeah. This is what you see in the bags at Walmart, wherever. Not too big, not right. too little, what we call a baking potato. And the USDA does have specs for sweet potatoes, what's considered a number one, a number two, or, or whatever. And I believe for uh, a number one, it's uh, two and a quarter to three, no, two and three quarter to three and a quarter is what it is. Round? In, in diameter. Okay. Yes. So, you know, not everything, and you asked uh, where these graded again or are they touched again. Well, this guy here, if the cut on the end of the potato is larger than a quarter, it's not considered. They can't see everything. Right. No, you saw how fast the potatoes right. were coming up that chain. So that's why when they go to the plant, they're graded a second time. And if this was a box of number ones, this would wind up as deer food at that point because really? it would not make the grade to go into the store. Uh, this one here wouldn't either. And why they do things like that, I don't know, but they, it wrinkled on the end. It doesn't right. have the cosmetic shape that they're looking for to store. So you've got, you know, there's another one. Right. And you can see that it was actually on top of the ground. That's why it has a greenness to it. Okay. It was seeing the sun. So it won't make grade either. So, you know, we try to wind up with, there'll be, this is a thousand pound box and we hope maybe 50 to 75 pounds is cool. That would be okay. a good, that would be a good, you know, ratio as far as what goes in the store. Well, looking at the size of these, I let a lot of number ones go by me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to train your hand to hold it. Sure. You know, they really don't look at them by eyesight anymore. It's the feel of it. How big around is it when you grab it? Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Little bitty hands can't grab huge potatoes. So your your hands, you would have a smaller number one. Mine, I don't want my finger. I want I want about an inch and a half apart between okay. my fingers. And, and everybody that's on that, we've all done this in our hand sure. to estimate the size of that potato. You you would be a lot more potato around. Yeah. Really. <laughs> but when this when this box gets to the plant, there'll be somebody there with a notepad and a tag that's stamped to it saying the time, the day, the field it come from. Okay. And when this box is sold to Walmart, that information transfers to Walmart. So if anybody were to ever get sick with these potatoes, whatever, anything were to happen, they can trace food, them. trace them back. It's all about traceability. And we can trace the potatoes down to within an hour of when they come out of the field, even wow. if it's 18 months ago. That's impressive. Yeah. So if I were to go to a local grocery store, Walmart, Harps, is there a chance I've had one of your sweet potatoes? If you bought an organic sweet potato in Arkansas, you probably have bought ours. That's awesome. We, we ship to Walmart, we pack for Walmart, we pack for Kroger, uh, most of your major retailers. All about the farm to table process. Absolutely. Okay, so I see that we have a tractor back here with a cutter that looks different than this. Can you tell me what he's doing? The guy on the cutter is shredding the vines, and if you look in the background, you'll see how tall the vines are. They're you know, approximately waist high, a little above knee high, and he is shredding all the vines and prepping the field for the diggers to run. There's no way to dig the potatoes with that much vineage. So that shreds all the vines, and we normally have to wait three or four days and let that material die to make sure. it easier to harvest. So it doesn't just look like this magically? No, no. <laughs> So 
today we harvested sweet potatoes and honestly it was a great experience. I have never done anything specialty crop row crop wise. I grew up on a cattle farm, a little bit of poultry background. So being on this side of agriculture, seeing the dirt and the dust as opposed to the poop, which I'm used to, uh, it was a really good experience. I learned a lot and I'm looking forward to doing something like this again. Yeah, you, know, you know, for no longer than Lindsay was up there, I'd give her a seven five, maybe even an eight. And yeah. There you go. Um, well, thank you so much for having us out today, teaching us about sweet potato harvest. I'm looking forward to next year. Well, thanks for coming out. And we've got a place for you on the digger so you know where to come next year. <laughs> awesome. Looking forward to it. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> so you didn't even make it 10 seconds! <laughs>